to take out Doc Lord. Awesome! I've got issues with him, too. Won't be easy. This is Legion of Minions and his superhuman power. It would take the mightiest of swordsmen to do it. I don't think it's possible without the Sword of Mana. The Sword of Mana? What exactly is that? Well, well, well. Your eyes glowed at the mention of the sword. Sibba the Sage over in Window can tell you all you need to know. Window's two mountains away from Topple. It's the biggest town anywhere. With the Sword of Mana, I could beat Dark Lord. I'm off to Window then. I almost forgot, I reckon you'll be facing new dangers on your trip. Here, use this! And we receive the magic rope. This rope provides divine protection. When used, it'll send its owner back to a safe place. I'm afraid that's about all I can do. Give it your best. Thanks, mister! And we are done with the child and his grandfather. And you can see, the day has actually changed. It is now Golden Day. Now we do have a new option on our menu here. We can use the magic rope. Basically this uses the same technique as the escape rope in the Final Fantasy games. However, this will bring you back to the near the last mana goddess statue that you had used. So it can be used in a way that maybe the programmers didn't expect. Start a quest, save go finish the quest and use the magic rope to get back to, to, to the quest uh, giver <laughs> very quickly. Uh, I might be using that technique a little bit later on. Let's head in here to the general store! I used to have these weapons called flails. You could throw their chains and pull yourself as far as they'd go. Flails are hook shots, apparently. The farther you tossed it, the farther you went. What is up, little boy? Are you an adventurer? My name is Luke! Why? Luke? Luke, why is there a collar around your neck? Would you help me find my father? Could you ask around? Sure, I can help you find your father. Actually, my dad works in Wendell. Well, I'm headed there anyway. He left Topple to find work there, and he hasn't been back since. He writes now and then, but the address changes. We haven't been able to contact him. We've all been so concerned about his health. That's why we wanted to give him some barbecued newt. That sounds gross, Luke. What kind of food do you eat? Please, would you see that he gets it? Yeah, sure, I'll take the barbecued newt. Thank you so much. Barbecued newt is good for the body. That sounds awful. All right, doesn't matter. Sorry about that. My dad's name's Marco. Thanks for doing this. And we get the barbecued newt. It's good for you. Which means it tastes awful. What is up, old man? I'm a supremely talented pharmacist. That's the first thing that you say to me? Hi, how you doing? I'm a supremely talented pharmacist. If you collect a few things like honey and honey onions and also some dice berries, I'll make a honey elixir that'll build up your strength. And this has given us, by talking to these two guys, two side quests, which I do hope to fulfill uh, rather shortly. Um, well, I don't want to give too much away, but I should be able to handle those. And then here we do have the Dancing Merchant, very similar to what we saw in Final Fantasy II. It's Moti! Welcome! And you can buy items from him and sell items from him. Uh, he has two kind of, he has recovery items. Uh, he has the gum drops, presto veggies, uh, stardust herbs, and angel grails. The presto veggies and the stardust herbs I will go over in more detail when we get them. Let's just say I have no no real reason to get them just yet at all. Um, but in terms of accessories. He's got stuff that I can't afford. Uh, BB Ring, which of course will up my defense. Gem Ring for magic attack, intelligence. Uh, Cicada Earrings for agility. Quartz Ring for magic defense, mind. And Cobra Earrings for power. Of course, I can't afford any of these. Not even close. Thank you very much. So let us head out of here. That is all we can do at the general store for now now and I believe I have talked to both of you out here so let's head into the inn now you might be asking yourself hey wasn't there a managata statue out there yes yes there was there it was right here doesn't that heal your M HP and MP absolutely it does so then what's the point of the inn well that's a good question to be honest with you there is a point you do get 
well, you do get healed here uh, when you stay the night. Uh, however, you also get the best status, which raises your attack and defense. And that lasts for six screens. So if you're trying to do some level grinding, stay at the inn, then go outside and just never leave the screen and wait for stuff to respawn. And you can keep the best status while you do your level grinding. That's pretty much the only real point to it, as far as I can tell. At least when there's a mana, ga mana goddess statue very nearby. Mum's the word. They say the master of Vincat Hall beyond Batmo Cave is an underworld Mavel. The hall's gate is only open after dark Mavels. When I was a kid, Lord Gron said humans and Mavels could be friends. I guess he was wrong. What's up, dude? Figure out which class you're aiming for before you level up. Otherwise, you'll never get stronger. Oh, and one more thing before you go, keep your energy up by leveling up. I have chosen my class, uh, but we need to level up first before I can uh, fully explain what's going on with that. But there is a reason that I named the character Loki. So let us head up here, and in here we can find a treasure chest with a gumdrop. Yeah, that's pretty standard for the first town in an RPG. Now there's only one more building that we need to go to here during the day. Uh, I did mention before that you do need to be careful about time when you're in a town here. Uh, so we might have to revisit this town. Yeah, yes we do. Uh, young man, you bear a sword. Are you an adventurer? You look like you know how to use that. An adventurer? I'm not sure if I'd call myself that. Ah, uh, so I'm mistaken. You might have gone to see the man who lives in Cascade Cottage, just north of here. Where it has it, he's quite the accomplished knight. Hmm, Cascade Cottage, north of Topple. He's that good. He might have some advice for beating Dark Lord. I better pay him a visit. So you, this guy's kind of plot relevant. Do talk to him. Uh, so's uh, this woman out here. Talk to him, her, I should say, as well. Uh, but I do need to try to make it night, which means I need to go out and pretty much take care of a little bit of level grinding here. Uh, my death blow gauge, as you can see, has not gone away. Die! Still only 16. That is disappointing. In order to change the time, you just have to go back and forth between a couple screens. Um, however, the screens in town and just outside of town... Is, yes, there is a treasure chest there. You can't always see it. Um, the screens in town and one screen outside of town do not forward the time, so you need to leave and then come back. And as you can see here, it's already getting a lot darker. And so let me finish killing off these guys just so I can get that level up and finish these guys off. Once again, just a little bit of level grinding will help out in the long run. Always. Stop hitting me! Okay, so... Let's go into town here, and we technically get the level up status here. It's, it's very strange. This is what it looks like when you have a status, pretty much. Uh, so, we need to go into the menu. This works very similar to, uh, let's say, Diablo 2, where you actually have to initiate the level up. Uh, other games start utilizing this as well. So, when it comes to leveling up, there are six types of job classes that you can level up, each with their own stats and, well, kind of builds that you can go for in the long term. Uh, there's the warrior, uh, the monk, the magician, the sage, the thief, and the random. Now, all of these have set stat gains, except for random, of course. Um, and you can get job classes as you continue to go through the game. Uh, that are mixtures of all these job classes. Well, uh, at least two or three of them combined. I will be going for a mixture as well, and we can go over why I'm going for what I'm going for when we get it. But first things first, his name is Loki. We're going to be a thief. And on top of that, we might be doing some random. But first off, we're going to be a thief. So, HP up by 5, MP up by 3, not that I use it, power up by 1, defense up by 1, agility up by 2. Yes, I want to be a thief. Hooray! Thiefery! So, is it technically night here? It is technically night, because there are new characters out here in town. What is up? It's 
old news, but there were several disappearances at Winket Hall to the east. Tales of attractive girls who went missing. I'm hardly pretty, so I should be safe, right? Actually, you, you aren't that pretty. I don't like your sprite at all. Uh, you should be safe. Yes, yes, you should. Why, you? You didn't have to agree so quickly. That really makes my blood boil. So, yes, you can uh, either be nice to her or mean to her and tell her that she's pretty or not, which is apparently all that women care about outside here. Uh, so now this time I'm going to be nice and I'm going to tell her, no, you're gorgeous with your creepy purple eyes. Oh my my, no need for flattery, but I fear heretic hunters may come for me soon. <laughs> no, no, never mind. But the real person that we are looking for is this guy right here. The heretic hunters have given us nothing but trouble lately, so I gaze at the stars. Hanging high in the heavens, they climb hills and nearly touch the ground. Half of every day is a star full of s sky full of stars. How cool is that? Actually, that's not the guy we're looking for. This is who we are looking for. The Grandfather. Do you know about the orchid? Orchard. Orchard. What am I talking about? Not orchids. Orchard. No, I don't know about it. At the orchard, you can turn two seeds into a mysterious plant that bears fruit. Monsters occasionally drop seeds. Keep that in mind. That has actually added to our notebook. Uh, so we've, we've had a few of them added here. We've learned about the magic rope, which I have gone over. And then we also learned about moving with the flail. Right? It works as like a hook shot, a flail. And then we've learned about the orchard. Give Trent two seed items and the orchard will produce either a fruit or a veggie. And no, those don't work the way that you would imagine that they work. There's 29 total memo notes that we can get here. But I still don't have any friends. So that is... Well, you don't have to do that, but that is something that I like to do here. Try to get all the memo uh, notes in there. And we do have somebody new in the store. You don't mind that I belong to the Mana Clan, do you? I'm hearing lots of nasty gossip about the Master of Incat Hall. He, op he only opens the gate to the hall at night. Something fishy is going on. Uh, that's kind of important. Uh, once again, plot relevant, but, you know, not necessary. probably that you need to go talk to her. Let's head into the inn. I believe uh, this woman has something new to say. Uh, no. No, she doesn't. Yes, the vampires and the mouthholes are still around. However, there is someone new in here. Now it is night. Lassie the Third. You an adventurer? You look just like the guy outside. Yeah, I could tell. Do me a favor. The bats in the cave up ahead sometimes drop blood pouches. Bring me back one. They fetch a pretty penny in some circles. Of course, I'll make it worth you a while, so what do you say? Sure, I'll get you your blood. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll give you a hundred lucre for each, and I'll buy all you get. Now, even though he says he'll give you a hundred for each, it is recommended that you bring him ten at a time, but um, I'll get ten, and then I'll show you why that is. And that looks like that's actually all for Topple here. And that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been joined, as always, by Loki. I've been Bala Scuba. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.